YouTube, what's the word? Feel me? It's your boy, your favorite boy on the tube. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Flock QRB himself. You know what I'm saying? I got a very special guest today. Feel me? Introduce yourself, King. What's going on, y'all? I got Stevie Scott in the building, yes, man. Sir. In the building with my boy Flock, man. Yes, Chopping sir. it up. I know the vibes. I know what's going on. Feel me? I gotta, I gotta keep the heat coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So what's up, though, bro? Appreciate you coming. You already know that. Love appreciate and shit. you. You already, yeah. man. So for the ones that that aren't familiar with, you know, what you do or who you are, give them a little rundown. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm a professional football player. I uh, just came from playing uh, college football at Indiana University mm -hmm. for three years. I decided to leave as a junior to, uh, you know, pursue my dream and try to play in the league. So right now, I'm basically a free agent, still, you know, chasing the dream, still grinding and hustling. Yes, sir. And, you know, just still trying to put on for the 315. That's all. Okay, heavy on it. For me, shout out to Sir. Yes, sir. All right, so as far as, like, when did you realize, like, at what age or what time in your life did you realize, like, yo, I could really take this football shit to the next level. Like, I get paid for this shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. It's like my freshman year when I got the uh, CBA. Yeah. When I got the CBA. Mm -hmm. When I, I started, you know, I had a good good freshman year. So, you know, I had a lot of buzz so, yeah, going he's, in. He's being humble. This nigga had a great freshman year. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> nah, I definitely, though, I had like a, you know, I had a great freshman season. So, yeah. at that point, I just had the mindset that, you know, I could really do this. I just yeah. had the, the support. And then I had my dad always behind me, pushing right, me. Shout out to your pops, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely, dude. you know. My dad was always in my life just pushing me, you know, just giving me that constructive criticism just... That you know, every game I, I played that was actually good, it wasn't good enough. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, I just always had that mindset just to to keep playing, keep working, keep working. So you know, just as the years added on throughout my sophomore year, yeah. then my junior year, we won a uh, we won a section three championship right. high school. Yeah, I remember. That. So you know, definitely, I think that's when the offers start rolling in after my junior year. So definitely between my freshman and sophomore year, I, I just had that I just had that feeling like yo. The league there, I'm like, I got a chance. I definitely got a possibility with my size and ability and just, you know, heading in the right direction, you know, just taking care of my grades and making sure, you know, just listen to my family. At the yeah, end of the day, just, you know, right. your family's going to always they steer you in the right see. direction. They Never going to put you in the wrong direction. So, you know, just having all that support, it's just, you know, really just had me thinking, like, you know, you just got to grind just to get to that next level. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. So that's a great segue into my next question. All right, boom. So before we get into um, your journey at Indiana, mm -hmm. who else was recruiting you at the time? <clears throat> oh, yeah. So going back to high school, I definitely had I had about, bro, I'm just like 18 <laughs> offers, 19 offers. About he had a good no like, no exaggeration, on, though, bro. I can't even remember, bro. It was, like, it was that many, bro. I had, right. so I think my first offer was Boston College. Okay, Starting off tough. with Boston College. That's tough. I got them. Then Rhode Island came. Mm. Then I had Maine. Mm. Then they start picking up from there. I had uh, UCF. That's out down there in Orlando. Yeah. If you know, then I had yeah. Syracuse came. Syracuse ended up coming hometown team. They came as my fifth offer. Mm. And you know they couldn't resist the boy, man. They had, they had <laughs> to, they had to get your boy a chance, man. I was down there. You feel me? Really putting the they pain. They had to feel me. Yeah, they definitely to, though. Bro. That's they a fact though. To. Definitely. So them boys came as a fifth offer. Then definitely they start rolling in. I had Big Ten coming in. I had Minnesota. <laughs> Rutgers, I have a few other Big Ten teams, but just know all together though, I have about a good 18 and 19. Oh, I, I even had my dream school too. I ain't gonna lie, Duke was my dream school for basketball. Though. I wanted to be a hooper back then, but <laughs> I ain't really, I ain't really growing size, so I had to stick to that football. But yeah. I, I even had Duke. But by the end of the day, I had uh, chose my heart and decided to go with Indiana. Okay, so how did uh? Take us through the the recruitment process that Indiana did as far as like getting uh, you to commit. Yeah, man, it was the recruitment process was definitely very stressful. You know, I just know. just <clears throat> dealing with the schools contacting you every day, yeah. trying to contact your parents. You know, you know, my, especially my mom. You know, my mom she's soft, so she don't she don't really know what's going on. So you know, you got the people trying to steer her in, in yeah, each way direction, yeah, trying to right. get her, you know what I'm saying? So like, Take advantage right, shit, exactly, yeah. Big, right. Yeah. So, you know, it was good to have my pops there to, you know, help me guide me through the process as well. Just, you know, let me know how everything goes and just inform me on, inform me on what to do and what not to do. Right. So we really just going through the process, 
I was actually committed to Rutgers at the time. Mm-hmm. I was committed to uh, Rutgers University. So what made you decommit and go to and go to Indiana? <clears throat> yeah. So really, what it was, you know, as the season was going on, well, I had committed before my senior season. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. So boom, I committed before my senior season. Rutgers was actually the only team hitting me up that whole summer, which was 2017, I believe. Yeah. They was hitting me up that whole summer. They was the only team hitting me up faithfully, you know, contacting me every day, making sure I was good. Just maybe you dropped the. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a video or like some pictures, but oh yeah, pictures in the uniforms yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Ruckus is where I'm going. Yeah, definitely. Shit. Niggas is like, oh, that's what? Like, boy, them boys had me in the mood. Boy, them boys had me feeling good. I'm like, <laughs> feel me? They, they, yeah. they just making me. I, I just loving everything they were saying. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm yeah, basically yeah, gonna be yeah, that man yeah, if I done went there. Yeah. So you know, I was. I, they just showed me the most love. They had me most comfortable, and mm-hmm. I just was like, shoot, I'm gonna rock with them. Yeah, right. Why not? So you know, shoot, shoot, going into my senior season, I ended up. A lot of people don't know, but I had broke my my ankle. What? Uh, what it was my. Second oh, is yeah, like my yeah, third yeah, game yeah, of the yeah. season. Yeah, third game of the that. season. Yep. Yeah, Fractured my ankle. Ended up missing my whole senior season after that. Boy, I was so hurt, man. I was still trying to get more offers. I ain't yeah, even gonna lie to y'all. I was trying to get some offers at that line back. Think about that. You could have got more offers. Yeah, you feel yeah. Me? Like if you'd have played that right, season, right? Right. You could have got some stupid offers. Man, I was messing with that linebacker crazy too. You know, I ain't played defense yeah, till know, junior year. No, he was at Hennigan. Yeah, I'm talking about like eighth grade. Yeah, type yeah, shit. Exactly. yeah they I don't even know about that know, eighth grade. That boy was really a demon. You hear me? Definitely for sure. Yeah, this nigga was like that. I ain't gonna lie. Man, defense was that's why. When you like grew into the, the running back position, it was yeah. such a shock to niggas. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that's a like, fact. Yo, you, niggas just expected Stevie to be on the defense oh, side. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's a fact. That though. nigga hitting for real. You know what I mean? For sure. Word, but, all right, so um, your first practice in Indiana. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like how they made you, how, how they made you feel like it was a family vibe and everything, and and, and after you made your decision, how, how how was the experience at Indiana? Shoot, you know, after I made my decision when I committed, I had the coaches, staff, you know, yeah. all hitting me up, just congratulating yeah. me, welcoming me to the team, just right. treating me like a family as they should. Right. Then you know, had the uh, um the player, the the former IU players hitting me up, just welcoming me in, mm-hmm. you know, just just trying to guide me, being a good teammate, being yeah. an older head on the team, just trying to stir the youngest in the right direction. So, yeah. you know, that they was good on that part for sure. It was just a great family. This is a, a, a family oriented organization if if I could put it like that yeah. so you know it was definitely big on faith and, and family but other than that when we my first practice there shoot it was man we had we had summer workouts man okay. you hear me yeah I do Double summertime sessions and all that. summertime yeah, yeah, yeah. boy we out there workouts I'm talking it's hot what <laughs> it's hot man yeah. and mind you mind you we had to play FIU FIU oh, the first game okay. they down in Miami yeah right so right. our coach was like Man, y'all finna be outside this whole summer. I don't care if it's 90 degrees and above. Boy, Miami's that hot that the game could possibly be that hot. So y'all gonna have to, feel me, practice in this yes, weather. Yeah, yo, man, we outside in 90 crazy. degree weather because we running sprints, man. I ain't gonna lie, we getting out of work, though. Yeah, getting right. We getting out of work, though. It's, it's that definitely that great work. But it's like at that time, I'm a freshman coming yeah, in, you don't know coming from process. high school. Yeah. I don't know the process. So I'm like, I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> do I really want to do this shit? Like, getting up every day at, five, at uh, 6 o'clock a.m.? Exactly. Got to beat her by 6.30. Breakfast got to be, you got to eat breakfast by 6.45. You got to be dressed and ready for workout by 7. Every day that whole freshman year of college. That's tough. In the summertime, just the summertime, though. You know, summer workouts before before we get in the season. So, I'm just thinking, like, damn, like, do I really want to play football, bro? Like, do I really want to go through this lifestyle? (laughs) Just mind you, though, I'm a freshman coming out of senior year out of high school. So I'm yeah. still in that high school mindset, not right. really like right. thinking like, bro, this is this this the lifestyle of an athlete. If you're trying to be a professional athlete, this is the thing yeah. you're gonna have to do. Yeah, they teach you how to be a pro, right? Yeah, so you know, as as the practices went on and days picked up, I got used to the yeah, I had okay. to get used to the the habits. I had yeah. to get used to everything like that. So once I ended up picking up on that, it's all she wrote after that. You know, I got used to everything. I got used to the team, the culture, just the in the environment. It was just a. It definitely was a breeze. I definitely could f- say my uh my three years at Indiana was definitely a great experience. For sure. Okay, so at, at, from this point, from from uh, freshman year of high school yeah. up until let's say a junior year at Indiana, who would you say was the toughest opponent you went against team wise, and then who was the toughest individual person that has either hit you the hardest or like surprised you on the field somehow? Like, well, high school. The, the, the toughest opponent we I ever played against was definitely uh Jadakiss. Definitely Jadakiss mm. Scott. Oh, uh, Liverpool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bro was bro was on that. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> it was definitely, you feel me? Like, it was definitely, like, when we played them, like, it was, like, that's, like, one of the biggest games in the yeah. in the, in the whole, yeah. feel me, the town. So, like, 
feel me? So like for high school, definitely I can say him. But like when it come to college, yeah. tch, I ain't gonna lie. The only team is really hard to get past was Ohio State, man. Them boys, Earth. bro. That's the only team that we couldn't beat, bro. We beat. You feel me? When we when it, my last year, my junior year, we we beat every team in our big in our conference, yeah. but Ohio State. Earth. That's the only team we lost to. So we really just getting past them. They, Cause them boys be loaded, man. Them boys got they damn sure do. Boy, them boys got straight five stars everywhere around that board. You know what I'm saying? So everybody stepping, everybody coming. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Everybody in that team, they're in their league bound. So yeah, them boys much. is definitely a great matchup every time. But shoot, for getting hit hard though in college football, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. To you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Freshman year against Michigan State, them boys was head tang. You it hear was, me? What? I only had like 12 yards that game. Boy, them boys Damn. was hitting. They was laying that wall. No homo. They was, them boys was hitting. I'm like, after that game, I'm like, that's when I really was like, yo, these boys is grown <laughs> men out here. Them boys is hitting. Boy, I'm like, but it's yo. all good after that, though. After, after you know, after my body um, yeah, healed up and all that. Yeah, it's over. It's over. I was in that way the next day. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shrugs and all that. I ain't finna be feeling like this no more, but. That's Definitely, but other than that, no individual really hit yeah. me hard though. Except my welcome into football, college football. Here, I ain't gonna lie. I was about to say that was the next question. What was your welcome to football? Oh uh, yeah, college? I got the video. I got the video. They about to show. They about to show. They about to on the back. Don't even trip. You know I had to talk my smack after he did it. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that was you. Yeah, he, he got me. <laughs> Part the ball out and everything. Oh, bro. He definitely got my ass though, but that was definitely my welcome to college football hit. But after that hit that? though, that's FIU. That was the first uh, game of the season. That was the first yeah, game of the season. That, bro, how I got in was crazy, bro. Like, they would start running back, got hurt. Damn. Uh, he got hurt that game, and then one of our other starting running backs had ended up getting kicked off the team for other reasons. So it was like God was just right there, yeah. you know, just giving me the, the opportunities to take it and run with it. So, you know, I just had to do that. You know, I'm just. I'm just blessed and thankful. Yeah, that's that's real shit though, bro. That's real shit. All right, boom. So, junior year, feel me? You done already had over a thousand plus rushing yards. You got what I'm saying? You yeah. already damn near top 10, 15, 20 running backs in the goddamn nation at the time. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. Take us through how you made your decision to declare for the drop. <clears throat> so, honestly, what it was for me was I looked at it as Shoot, my you know my past three years, yeah. you can see the improvement through Indiana as the That's years go on. You That's know what I'm saying? Like how we got better each year. So I just looked at it as I, you know, I feel like I showed enough of my my abilities yeah. and my talents as much as I can. To, you know, because you know you gotta do what you can do. Right. Your coach could what you're allowed to exactly right. what I'm allowed to do. So <clears throat> I just felt I was at that point that I was ready to show my you know show my talents to the next level. And just help other organizations and other teams, you know, yeah. improve in other ways. So I just really had that mindset going forward. I just was trying, you know, help my family, help my family, provide for my family, and yeah, just, you know, put on man. for the time at the end of the day, you know, have get you back man. to the community, make sure the community good. So all the, all it is at the end of the day is just motivation. And I just had that motivation, you know, and I just followed my heart and my my gut feeling, you know, to, to declare for the draft and, you know, do what's best for me and my, and my family, for sure. That's real. I mean, so anybody like reach out to you before the draft, like any teams? Uh, so, nah, teams can't actually reach out to you for real. You gotta can't? get nah, oh, nah. My. How the process goes? You gotta get an agent, like the oh, agent and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, then the agents yeah. uh start contacting um these teams and things like that. I don't think they start contacting you though till like uh they start calling you and start while you training for the yeah. draft. That's when they start calling you. So once you declare it, workouts. Yeah, when you working yeah, out for the yeah, draft, yeah. that's when they they calling you. You know, get in contact with you. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so who's the first NFL team to show interest? Uh, I don't know the Titans, Tennessee Titans called. Right. Yeah, the Tennessee Titans. Them boys called me. Right, so you worked out for them? No, nah, I ain't worked out for them anything. Mm -hmm. They were just you know calling me. The teams really what the teams would really do is just call you, you know, get in contact with you just to get information about you, yeah. see about your home life, how you living, you know, how you feeling, how your school, yeah. how you did in the school, you know, things like that. Just trying to get information just about you. Yeah, just thing. trying to know you. Just trying to get to know you. Okay. Okay. So draft night. Jack yeah. come. Where, where, where were you? Were you, were sure, you at the sure. crib? I was at the crib. I was right. at the crib. The fam I had a few uh, family members over and some friends right. over. Some right. small gathering. Okay. So take me through your emotions the night that the last pick went and your name wasn't called. Explain to me how you felt. Shoot, bro. I was like, man, I'm watching the TV, bro. I'm just looking like, 
bro, it ain't no way, bro. It's yeah. like, you feel me? Yeah. Not even not no hate and nah, nothing yeah, like yeah, that, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying, though, you feel me, with my college career and what I did for my team and what I, you feel me, what I showed, it was just, I was just seeing things that was happening that it just ain't make sense to me, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's people that haven't even played full college careers. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, two years, one year, it's like, you know, just some some things just wasn't adding up to right. me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just looking at all that, like, for me, I was definitely, I was like, shoot, I looked at it as like, I was I was down probably for like after the draft, because of course, yeah. you know, everybody wanted to hear their name get yeah. called and stuff, nice, but, nice. but you know, after it went down, I just started myself like, shoot, that's just motivation, like, yeah. that's just motivation for me to go and show them folks, like, you know, what they missing out on, like, the type of athlete, the type of player I am, the type of player, you know, the caliber I could bring to their team and what I could offer, like, right. just made me go hard and motivated me just to get in that gym for real, to work on yeah. the things they said I needed to work on. Uh, yeah. so also, I, they told you. I mean, you know, as as, as the process, draft process goes on, you know, you know what the teams are are saying about you. They uh, they got like they got info about you on what you need to work on and yeah. what you're good at, what your strength and weaknesses is. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. So they have some weaknesses on there that I know I have. That it's like for me, I, I bet I'm gonna go yeah, for me we'll work, work on that and show y'all that I really got this because y'all tripping. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, I, I got that in me. Word, yeah. So like at the end of the day, you know I was sitting down. I was just thankful, still blessed enough to get a call from the Saints right. and a few right. other teams like that. But just I was just blessed enough to sign with the Saints. You know, go to that organization and show what I could do and what I you know what I was made of. And just blessed, you know, just to be even be playing in the National Football League. Yeah, you know, fact, coming back bro, from where we from, bro. I'm just blessed to be even just out there, you know, just coming from where we from. Exactly. You know, Syracuse, New York, man, it's just, it's, it's hard to make it out, man. Yeah. If you ain't from here or ever been here, then you won't know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's a fact, you know, I'm just man. blessed and thankful for the opportunity. It's, like, it's a lot of talent here, too. Not even just in sports, you Definitely. know what I'm saying? Like, every avenue, it's hella talent here. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of distractions, too. But, um, okay, so walk me through the process with the Saints. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, shoot. So, <coughs> you know, I had, um, they called me. They called me later on that day. Got the call. I, I signed with them. So, I think, like, the next few days, I had to, uh, go down there and start rookie mini camp. Yeah. Went to rookie mini camp, you know, did my thing. So, were you boys. nervous at all, like, going down? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't nervous at all, bro. I, right. I had that mindset You're going ready. in, like, feel me, like, I know what I'm capable of. I know what I worked my whole life for yeah, to get here. You know nice, what I'm saying? I know, I know I'm like that. I know I'm on, I could play on this level. So I'm going in, just playing my, just doing my thing. I'm playing like I'm still in college. Like this yeah. regular to me. Like at the end of the day, we all do the same thing. We right. just play football, bro. Yeah, like them niggas bleed like you. You feel me? Like we doing the same thing. So I just had that mindset going in. Like shoot, I can't be stopped. So I just you know killed the rookie mini camp. They like my play. They telling my agent. They you know they like me like. I, I I was good. I was doing good. So mm -hmm. we had that little rookie mini camp before whatever. That was mind you, man. I jump was during my birthday, bro. The mini camp. The mini camp was during my birthday, bro. Damn. I couldn't even do nothing for my B day, bro. Well, I mean, that, I wasn't that's even, a hell of a birthday. Yeah, it was, that's, that's why I wasn't tight yeah. though. That's why I was, that's why I had to think about it. my pops. Told me I was putting my pops and stuff on my B day, and I was telling you like, damn, pops, like. I'm really stuck in the hotel. My B day yeah. though, like you feel me, like yeah. you feel me. I can't yeah. do nothing. He like, man, it's you in the blessing. It's a blessing in the skies, man. We, look, just look where you at right now. A lot of people, you feel me, want to be in your position. So you know, I looked at that like encouraging words. Like he definitely yeah. right. So you know, I just got through that though. And then you know, uh, we can't end up coming back for camp. What came back for camp August or end of July? We had to report back August and July. Mm -hmm. So reported back for camp. And camp was going smooth. I ain't gonna lie, New Orleans real hot, boy. If you ain't never been down there, I can only imagine. Oh my God, gosh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? It's so humid <laughs> out there, bro. We in we in ninety degree heat, humid. Which means in real life, it's like one ten, one ten, one fifteen, five. Humid out there. I'm talking. Soon as you walk out there, you sweating. You already soaked. If you ain't soaked by the time you leave practice, you ain't doing nothing yeah, all day. You, really did. you were just sitting there. You wasn't doing nothing. Well, we is like it's, it's like the heat was something to adjust to for sure. Like the first few days, it was kind of hard because it was like I'm from upstate New York, where it's yeah. it's so cold every day. We not used to that heat in the right. summertime. It's barely even human like yeah. that. We just got straight heat, so yeah. it was just something to get used to. So just getting used to that human heat was that's all. That's all it really was a problem at first. But then once it, the days kept getting going on, as the days stacked and stacked. Yeah. I just felt the improvement coming because I was getting comfortable, more comfortable on this level and just getting used to 
just just the new routines, the new habits again. Like I was back to what I was telling y'all when I first got to uh, Indiana my freshman yeah, year, I had to get yeah. used to the habits and the new routines and things like that. So as it, as the days were stacking on, I just felt the improvements coming. Shoot, I even scored in my uh, uh, in my training camp. Oh, yeah. Caught a little pass from Jameis Winston on a oh, little flat yeah. route. Shout so, out Jameis. Yeah, you already know. Shout out Jameis. Shout out Jameis looking for looking out for my boys. It'd so be- yeah, I was I was just feeling good. So till we got down to the preseason game. Shoot, I ain't play. Long story yeah. short, I ain't play. You know, I just I was on there just still being a good teammate, you know, just yeah. doing what I could do what I could do. Just yeah. showing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a great teammate at the end of the day. Ain't nothing I could do. Shoot, we at the next level, like this gonna happen. Yeah, Things like this gonna happen. Sure, you sure. know what I'm saying? This ain't high school or college yeah. where you you feel me, you that man and you, everybody that man on right. this level. So yeah, hell yeah. at the end of the day you just gonna have to wait your turn and, and be patient. Just be blessed that you in this opportunity to even be here. So yeah. you know, after that game or whatever went down. Shoot, you know, teams gotta make cuts in the season. They gotta cut they seen they gotta cut their rosters down and as you can see I ain't played so like it was kinda, you know, obvious that that was something that was gonna happen. So, yeah. you know, I got cut from the Saints and then I had missed my uh uh week two of the preseason game. Mm-hmm. So then we I ended up bouncing back to week three of the preseason game. I ended up getting picked up by the Denver Broncos. Okay. You know, they're very thankful for them picking me up. It's just so I could be able to showcase my skills for that yeah. last preseason game. Again, yeah. I ended up, uh, they ended up picking me up, and I ended up playing that the little last little week with them. And, you know, it just was a great experience. And I, I ended up actually linking back up with my college teammate, Jamar Johnson. Mm. He ended up getting drafted by them. So, you know, it was definitely me and him had a fun time out there. We was just enjoying ourselves, just having fun like the old days back at college. That's all it felt like again. We just out there. You know, a lot of the veterans out there meeting Von Miller. Yeah. See, it was just a great experience all in general, just meeting these athletes, Von Miller, Jameis yeah. Winston, uh, Cortland Sutton, Teddy Bridgewater, Drew Locke. Yeah. Uh, it was just a, you know, it's a great experience all together. So I'm just okay. thankful and blessed, man. So, so at what moment <clears throat> did anybody like know you that you like, that was, that, for instance, like Jameis Winston. Did anybody come up to you like, hey, you, yo, you Stevie Scott? And it kind of like blew your mind that they knew who you were? Um, Did you have that moment at all? Um, nah, I don't think. Nah, not really. I knew, I, I knew Jameis. Jameis knew who I was because he trained with my quarterback. Uh, my okay. quarterback is from Tampa. I think mm. Jameis played with FSU. I think Jameis from Tampa. I'm not. I'm not sure, I'm but not sure but he, he <laughs> trained with my quarterback who who, uh, who was at Indiana at the time. Okay. So yeah. I think he actually did say he knew about me because of uh, Mike and stuff. So he watched through our games because of Mike. So he he knew a little bit about me and stuff. He knew of my play style. But now nah, other than that, only person that really knew about me was Latavius. Latavius Murray. Oh, you know he from the crib. He from yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Tay. My boy so Tay you, made sure I was good when I was okay. at the Saints for sure. Okay. Tay was holding it down. Yeah. Shout out Tay, man. Yeah. Shout out Tay. All right, boom. So at this point, right now, there could be a kid watching this, maybe like 13, 14, 15 at the time. Yep. And they look up to you. You got what I'm saying? Like they following your story, they using you as motivation. What words of encouragement or motivation would you give that kid to stay focused? Honestly, at the end of the day, I would just tell them just don't let the little distractions stop you from getting to where you got to go. You got to always stay focused and remain humble at all times. You know, anything can get stripped from you at any given moment. So you just got to look at everything. It don't take nothing for granted at the end of the day. Anything can happen. So, you know, I definitely start with grades first, keeping them grades up because them schools, them schools, them schools is watching. Sure. They they making sure them grades is good. You know what I'm saying? And just because you can play good don't mean that that's not that's not all they looking for. They looking for the grades and they looking for the the, the ability to play football. So. Make sure you stay on top of your grades. You know, always respect your elders, your mother. For sure, respect sure, your mother. Sure. You know, without your mom, you wouldn't even be here. So, respect your mother. And just, like I said, stay humble, remain humble, and just let grind. always always grind, man. You got to grind 24-7. If you're trying to get to that next level, grinding is is the number one thing that's going to get you there because you got you to gotta have that mindset and that hustle, that hustle, you feel me, just to keep going and keep striving and trying to be better than the next person. Cause you gotta think about it all across the world, all across this world is people working, yeah. trying to outwork you. It's people working right now, probably as we doing this video, somebody working right That's now. So That's you just gotta every, time, every hour you sleep, somebody on the other side exactly. of the world getting right. So you, know you just gotta look at it as that and just you feel me, just keep grinding, man. Okay, that's that's real. You feel me? So, so you pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the league go, from a fan perspective, who's your, who's your favorite team like growing up? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I grew up a, a Giants fan because of my pops. Yeah, my pops messed with the Giants. Be young, so yeah. And then um, 
I definitely I mess with the Steelers with mm-hmm. growing up. Steelers too in my other team. Okay, so <clears throat> is any like favorite players you had growing up? Favorite mm-hmm. players? Any favorite players? Oh, players! Oh yeah, definitely. I look a- AP Adrian Peterson. Oh, yeah. Adrian Shout Peterson and Leonard Fournette. Oh, my dogs right there. Or, my like, dogs. Tops. There's no. Oh yeah, Le'Veon Bell too. I can't leave out Le'Veon. Oh, yeah. Le'Veon yeah, too. Yo, no three. The shit out that nigga right now. Yeah, they doing my son dirty right now, but it's that's how it be. Yeah. It be like that. You feel me? It's Cause real cutthroat business. At the end of the day, you just gotta you gotta be patient with it. Yeah, that's true. Shout out them three though. Them my three top RBs for sure. Okay. All right. So who you got winning the uh, winning the Super Bowl this year? <sighs> winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, feel me? Take your time. Who we got? Who we? Man, that's, that's hard. That's though. actually a contention. We got the Bucks. I like the Bucks and back in the Super Bowl. I ain't got, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I like Aaron Rodgers. I like Aaron Rodgers taking them yeah. all the way. This I like Andrew Rodgers like going to the Super Bowl. But in the AFC though, um, in the AFC, I don't know, bro. I don't, want, I don't think the Chiefs gonna be in there this year. Yo, they can't. Yeah, they, it's like they got Mahomes figured out almost. Yeah, yeah my, my son Mahomes still be snapping though. He, he still sure like do. that. He but sure you do. feel me? But it's, an, it's another team in the AFC right now that's going crazy. I can't even think right now though. But I think I think I think Packers gonna be in there though for sure. Okay. <laughs> so you got the Packers. Yeah. And who else? You had to pick the AFC. I'm trying to think, bro. <laughs> Why I can't think? Yeah, Kyle, I'm about to come back, bro. Alright, <laughs> so the Packers for sure. Yeah, yeah I thought we just gonna, I guess we're gonna say the Packers win the chip right now, for right now. Alright, boom. So your favorite uh kind of music is what? Rap, right? Yeah, definitely rap right. hip hop. But um I've been trying to expand my music though, yeah, man. I've been yeah, trying to go that. to some R and B and some soul, that. you know what I'm saying? Trying to change it up. I know, I know the ladies don't really be liking all that right. rap and stuff yeah, all the time, yeah, yeah. so I'm trying to change it up. Yeah, get I heard into that some R&B soul. music is good workout music too. Yeah, that R and B good for the soul. I ain't gonna lie, I did it before. I'm like, damn, I really it's good right now. I'm, glad. I'm like, shit. All right. Okay, so as far as rappers right now, who's your top five all time and your top five that's out right now? All right. Right now? Right now. I'm going to say no order. No order. <clears throat> Lil Dirt. Okay. Lil Baby. Right. And Bad Young Boy. Okay. Raw Wave. Okay. And No Cap. Or you no, cap. no cap like that boy you tripping yeah, I think uh, go get him came up here he was telling me he fuck with no cap too. yeah that boy no cap like that boy that boy be saying them punchlines that make you really start thinking like damn like, we're not we're not back we're a little bit real quick <laughs> like feel me like for okay. real though I be messing with that but uh, all, all time yeah. all time though um you gotta say Drake Drake gotta be in there okay I respect Drake you gotta say Young Thug Okay. You can't leave out Thugger Thugger. Okay. You can't leave out Lil Wayne. Oh no, of course not. You can't leave out Lil Wayne. Of course not. You can't leave out 50 Cent. You I'm think from 50 the, top yeah, five I'm, I'm from New York, but you I bugging. Just, I, I 50, fuck with that though. Yeah, I boy, with that. 50 him, boy. Y'all I, I tripping. I he got up. hit like I got hit. I got that nigga not breathing. I'm telling Shit, you. Me? Telling you, nigga. I grew up Shout on 50. 50 man. I, used to, man, I used to be in the crib, nigga, with the muscle shirt on. You and I was oh, younger, yeah. trying to be just like that, trying nigga. Make you that bugging. shit a bulletproof you know vest and shit. I had the Hell game yeah. and all, the, the 50 cent game. Hell yeah, uh, give what? it to that train. Yeah, Hell definitely. Yeah. P2, way back. P2, my uh, uh, bro. Back. That's way a fact. Yeah. That's four right there. So, yeah. the fifth one. Oh, uh, time. My list all over the place. Nah, you got a pretty versatile list, though. Yeah, that's a fact, though. Yeah. That's a fact, though. It's, it's, it's one more person. I mess with yo. I can't even think of one. <laughs> I can't even think of one. Uh, who you who you who your five all time? Mine all time. Yeah, I'm going at Hove. You feel me? See, only reason why I say Jay Z, cause, bro, he got good music, but yeah. his shit different though. Like you, his like he give me older hair vibes. Yeah, like you know sure, what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I feel that. You feel me? Um, I'm going Hove first. Um. I would go big next. Mm, I was thinking that's of, just you got to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pac for sure. I was thinking Pac too. Kind of have to. In the last two of all time, I'm going to go KRS1. Because mm. that nigga fix started this whole shit. Right. And then I'm going to do... I said Wheezy. Nah, you ain't said Wayne. Wayne. Wayne for the last one. Sure. That nigga sold 100 million records, bro. There's no way he not everybody top five. Nah, he got to be everybody top five. I don't care what nobody say. 
Not too. And unpopular opinion, I ain't jacking Eminem a top five artist. That's just me though. Yo, I ain't gonna lie though. I, I'm a, I'm bro. He really crossed. He really crossed. He crossed my mind though. I, he crossed Eminem, my mind like Eminem, yeah, he but got I was to, like, for me. I was like, nah, I can't. Yeah, have him in there, he though. just, I don't know, he don't do it for me. You know what I mean? That shit too fast. It's crazy. <laughs> bro, I be talking. You know I mean? <laughs> for me, like, and he Love. be on that weird shit. Like, he be trying to like, you know. Lock women in trunks and shit. Oh, I'm bro, he be doing shit. that? Oh, nah, he be shit. rapping about it. And oh, his, his yeah, he shit. shit. Like, yeah, he, he bugging just, it. He too dark. He too dark. Yeah, <laughs> like, facts, yeah. He bugging. I, I seen the 8 Mile movie, but yeah, I ain't feeling it. I ain't going know he's doing all that. He, he gone. Word. But yeah, bro, for me, I appreciate you coming out. Sure, my dog. Appreciate you, bro. You know it. Anytime. Best of luck. All your endeavors in the future. You know what I mean? Like I said, I told you off camera. You know what I'm saying? This is your home. You feel me? If you want to come up here. And just shoot the shit Or you wanna promote something You know what I'm saying Hit me already. I'm only a text away You know what I mean it's Definitely Definitely man NFL stop playing my boy man and We gonna be back soon He man. ready he Don't even trip He man. ready I'm to bounce back man. Shit you me? me Yo go, sign man. him to the Nah I wouldn't even I wouldn't even wanna do that to you bro I, I'm only gonna say this Cause this is my favorite team But the Jets need to sign this nigga But you might fuck around and Get hurt nigga They ain't got no fun line. <laughs> 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 oh, They ain't got no fun line. I'm like gonna do that to you bro Word oh, bro. Yo Brady Pick my boy up Oh man, um, man. Shit, your boy gone, man. Send me the ring. Word. You might be back at it. Don't even trip, you hear me? Feel me? So, like Not I said, all love. Feel me? Like, comment, subscribe. Show. Sure. Turn on your post notifications. You get what I'm saying? You can let them know where to uh, find you at. Oh, yeah, man. Follow, follow me on the gram, man. I am Stevie Scott. Mm -hmm. And on Twitter, Stevie Scott 8 underscore, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, Shout sir. out 315, man. I know the vibes, man. Sure, you saw it. Hashtag non blicker gang in the comments. You get what I'm saying? Hashtag free flock in the comments because it's not a five life. It's not for your worst enemy. You yes, sir. Me? And hashtag road to 500. We almost did. You get what I'm saying? Peace. Peace.